Hey, yo, what's going on, Boo Bears? You're tuning in to another exciting episode of It's Just a Mario Show, and I'm Mario Ramon, your host. And it's been a minute since I've seen Boo Bears, so first of all, I like to give my Boo Bears some love. So why don't y'all just give me um, a quick hug real quick. Give me a little hug real quick. I love you, Boo Bears, all right? So um, I wanted to talk about something that doesn't necessarily pertain to the news, but it is a versatile um, conversation. It is somebody who you admire, and you would admire this person, but you would be afraid to be left in the house alone with this person, whoever the person may be, dead or alive. If they're dead and you want to type and comment, um, rest rest their soul, you know, God, may God rest their um, soul. Um, but dead or alive, we are going to name some names of people you may be uh, uncomfortable with being in the house with alone. Okay, let's get straight into it. You know how I like to do it on It's Just Mario. I like to dive into it. Okay, holla. All right, so the first person that when I was a child, I used to be so afraid of this lady. And it's kind of like, you know how when you're afraid of your parents and even when you get older, you still have that respect for your parents and you like, okay, your mom would be 99 years old and she would still knock the hell out of you. Okay, with her left arm and she's been right handed her whole life. Okay. All right. So I still am afraid of this lady. Grace Jones. Did you see her in Conan the Destroyer? Oh my goodness. She jumped on him, on Arnold Schwarzenegger and headbutted him. And then she did the movie called A Vamp. And she was this um, vampire. And she had like all this dotted paint on her and this bob wig. And she did this dance on this chair. Oh my goodness. It was too much for me as a child. I almost passed out. Oh my goodness, I knew that she was going to fly through the window and eat me. Okay, Grace Jones. Definitely would not want to be in the house with Grace Jones. Macy Gray, doesn't she scare you? Now she may be a nice lady, and I, I might even like her. But I would not want to be left alone in the house. Where's my mom? Mommy! Don't leave me with her. Okay, I wouldn't want to be left in a room alone with Macy Gray. Now, just because I say I don't want to be left in a room with them doesn't mean I can't party with them or something like that. Or, you know, be in um, a room with them and three other people. But not necessarily a room with them. Okay, um, who else? We Let's go deep. Hitler, all right? Mess around and wake up dead hanging with Hitler. Okay, so um, let me see. Who else? Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Would you want to be left alone in a room with Jeffrey? And this is the... Okay, I forgot. The reason this sparked this particular show is because I was in a public restroom with a celebrity that freaked me out in the movie. Now, it doesn't mean like I was with them. It just means that they were in there. And I hit it. I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. it. It was Hannibal Lecter. He's washing his hands next to you. And you just happen to look over and it's Hannibal. Get out of here. Go on and sit down on it. Sometimes people can play roles so good in their movie that you just believe it. And you get tight cast like the mother on Good Times. That's so sad. Who else? Evelyn from Basketball Wives. I would not want to be left in a house alone with her. You could piss her off as she says it. As she calls it. You can you you piss me off, man. You piss me off. You you're gonna mess you're gonna mess around. I don't know why Evelyn has like this New York accent and she's from Miami or is she from New York? I don't know. But if you piss her off, she's gonna slap the shit out of you. That's all I got to say. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. Okay, Jennifer, you raise your voice to me one more time. I'm coming over this table in this dress. Evelyn. Don't wanna be left in alone in a house with her. Naomi Campbell. Oh, the rumors they say about that old sweet pumpkin lamb. You know Naomi Campbell was probably just the sweetest thing you've ever hugged. Okay? Until she gets pissed and beats you down with that iPhone. 
you know Naomi, she has killed two assistants that they just ain't even talking about. You know what I mean? That's been the places I've been, okay? Naomi Campbell. And um, you know Tyra Banks. I love my Tyra Banks. But she's still afraid of Naomi Campbell to this day. Raise your hand if you're sure. And I'm sure that she is probably... Ty Tyra Banks wouldn't want to be left alone in a cabin with Naomi Campbell for the weekend. Okay, gonna sit down on it. Ah! God rest his soul, but Michael Jackson, even back in the day, I said it, I love Michael, I can respect him, I would even want to lo love, you know, give him a hug and shake his hand, but I would not want to be left alone in a house with Michael Jackson, it has never been a desire, even when I was a kid, I mean, when you did Thriller, you sold the deal pretty much for that, and with me as a kid, I just didn't, I mean, I just started looking at you as an entertainer, not as a person anymore, and it just freaked me out, and I just knew the month monsters were just going to come from up under my bed and grab me and my little brother. Oh my God. Do you remember seeing Thriller for the first time? Like my hair changed colors. It went from, because y'all remember I used to have a little um, sandy blonde dishwater hair. It turned black. And I just was scared. I was scared. And my mother's like, don't you watch that? Friday night videos, whatever they showed you. Don't you watch it. Trey and I woke up. We, we woke up to see Thriller, and oh my goodness, we watched it. Poor Ola Ray. Did anybody ever find out what happened to Ola Ray? Hope she still gets some money from that curl box. Um, who else? Uh, how many minutes do we have so we can talk to each other the way we need to be talked to? Who would you want, want not to be left in the house with? Please tell me. Give, give it to me the way I like it. Type it. Type it. Who would you not want to be left in the house with? Alone. Um, I, I'm going to give it to you, Ike Turner, okay, back in his heyday. I wouldn't want him to have to, um, you know, give it to Ike the way he need, okay, swinging over here, I'll give you one good Namyo Renge, okay, um, who else, uh, I, I would love to be in a room with this person, but left in the house alone, probably not. Oprah Winfrey. I wouldn't want to be left in a room. You know, most people are like, oh, I just want to meet Oprah. Da. You want to meet her, hug her, and get on about your business. Like, you don't want to boggle her day. Like, I wouldn't want to be left alone. Because it's like, what are you, what are you going to say to Oprah? Unless you're interviewing her. Unless you know her and you're a friend. What are you going to say? And what are y'all going to talk about? What do you have in common? Like, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I went I went shopping to so-and-so Heights Mall. And she's like, and I just got back from Paris. <laughs> yep. I'm not worried about that. And private jet. Private jet. And then what else? Like, what kind of question? So how is that, man? What? Did, did you just ask about my man? Yeah. Y'all know me like that. Right. Okay. You think it's the Oprah that gives away the thing, her favorite things. I will cut you. I am Oprah. Okay. You, see, y'all think it's the Oprah that's, you know, the favorite thing. Oprah will cut you. Okay. So who else? We are? Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers is older than Chinese currency. I know it and you know it. She knows it. I love Joan Rivers. Everybody loves Joan Rivers. Adam and Eve used to love Joan. But Joan has been around for centuries, 400, 600, 700 years. Joan has last. She survived. All of her doctors have died. All of her doctors have died. She has got new, what do, what do they call it, new, um, new, the new kids on the block. The, and some of the best ones, some of the best, and you know, Joan has gotten to the point where you know, she's just so, oh honey, she don't care, she pull her hair out and sit it down, and, or she might hand it to whoever's doing it, it's so sad. Listen, we're about to go. If you do like the It's Just Mario show, definitely comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on It's Just Mario. We got to jam up out of here, alright? I'll at you next time on It's Just Mario. Peace.